Well, it's me, Jimmy, again. Kristen wasn't feeling good today. She decided to stay home. And boy, did she miss out on a treat. Look at this. Absolutely amazing geology. So many different types of rock. Gold ore, silver ore. We're up by uh, Winnemucca, Nevada. At yet another abandoned gold mine. Look at this. Look at the layers. Amazing. Caves, tunnels. It's absolutely amazing. It wasn't easy getting up here, I'll tell you that. Got my backpack full of classified dirt. Look at that amazing quartz. Disseminated quartz. You know what that means, people. Free floating gold. Fleet free floating gold for sure. This is a abandoned placer mine. I forgot the name of it off the top of my head, but my research tells me that it's been abandoned. They haven't worked it for about 25 years now. The last time it was for sale, it was up for sale for $600,000. I don't know what happened to it since then, but the scope of this place is absolutely huge. It's like 80 acres. There's spots like this all through, all throughout the property. Just piles and piles of rocks. It's waiting to be processed. Look at this. Amazing. Pick that one up. I got my trusty 3030. Never go anywhere without it. Looks like we got some fresh tire tracks up here. everywhere <laughs> look way up on top of that mountain a patch of pure white quartz but I ain't going up there today some workings down there plaster workings prospects over that whole hill over there I found this place, believe it or not, I was up on top of that mountain over there. Metal detecting. My Gold Monster 1000. Believe it or not, up there I found a couple bullets. No gold. I am the bullet king when it comes to metal detecting. Everyone goes out gold nugget hunting. I tend to join them and rack in a bunch of bullets. Bullet after bullet after bullet. 
It used to be called the Bullet Monster 1000. But the, wow, it's like there's ore everywhere. All over the ground. Quartz veins. Disseminated rock. Disseminated quartz. The striations are fucking incredible. Look at this. That's that pit we just came out of. Amazing, isn't it? I always gotta be on the lookout for other people who are here in these mines. Cause you don't know who took an ownership of it or, or BLM or or plane jumpers or whatever. <laughs> Amazing. It's just amazing. I wish my girl was here with me. Yes, I do indeed. I never go explore without Kristen. It's like one of the second, maybe third time since we started our relationship a while back. Sucks being without her, <laughs> but I can't force her to do anything. You know, she didn't want to go. She didn't feel good. I should have stayed home, but you know, I don't want to get sick. What is this? <laughs> Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. My bag is so heavy. Here's another another pit down there. That's actually where I filled my bag up at. That's before I knew about this one. Up that road was our adventure yesterday. Amazing stuff up there too. The rocks in northern Nevada compared to southern Nevada, like Clark County area, we're in Pershing County, are so, so different. So different. I've been to hundreds, possibly thousands or so abandoned mines and mining claims on the search for the yellow stuff, you know? And i never seen material that looks like this. Like these rocks right here, for example. They're just brittle, they fall apart. It's almost like sandstone, but it's not sandstone. Thought I seen a little glink glink right there. What's this one? Look at that. Out of all these colors, we got that. And it's sister right there. <laughs> nice. Look at that quartz vein right there. So much awesome material. And what do we have over here, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, explorers, geologists, teachers, anybody who's anybody who wants to know anything, look at what we have here. Ooh, another little hole, another little pit, another little gold mine, another little gold mine. It's a double, it's a double at it. You got a double at it. I didn't bring no flashlights today, but they're obviously chasing that vein right there. See that vein? Let's go get me a piece of that. Look on the outside here. Dun dun dun. Oh. 
I wish the coronavirus bullshit would be over with so I go back to town and go back to work. Because, you know, it ain't easy prospecting. Don't quit your day job when you're prospecting. Because prospecting ain't easy. If it was, everyone would be doing it. Peace out. Going back to Kristen. Love y'all. Like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Peace.